Hello, today I will be opening a Core 2014 Fat Pack. So this set's actually starting to get up there in age now. It's been, I think, seven years since it was released. And a lot of the good cards were reprinted in Double Masters and Jumpstart. But I always enjoy opening the older Fat Packs, especially for the little booklet. So we got a picture of Chandra here, the little artwork. And the booklet. Some deck suggestions here. Oh, that's right, this set had a lot of slivers, so maybe we can get some slivers here as well. Mutavault's a good card here that hasn't been reprinted lately. It's quite pricey now, I think. Scavenging Ooze, reprinted in Core, and Archangel of Thune, reprinted in Double Masters. Though I think the Chandra Planeswalker here is actually one of the worst Chandras ever printed. <clears throat> so they got the little deck boxes with one with Garuk and one with Chandra. Eighty card land pack. I think this was before they had foils in them, so there's really no point in opening this in the land pack. All right, let's start with the packs and see what we can get. An artifact creature sliver. Wow. For, didn't know that card existed. Diabolic Tutor. Oh, wow. That's a great start here. Rise of the Dark Realms. I think this was reprinted in Jumpstart, but... <laughs> Jumpstart right now is horribly overpriced since they haven't printed enough. So if we can't open Jumpstart, why not open this and get Rise of the Dark Realms? That's a good start. This is quite a fun card in EDH. Before the reprint, it was actually quite pricey. And the rare is Mind Sparker. Bog Brew Witch. Uh, yeah, this doesn't seem very good.
Oh, here's a sliver, not a very good one. Wow, what a bundle, what a fat pack here. Archangel of Thune, reprinted in Double Masters. Now that's a start right there. Definitely, I think this was the original printing of it as well, so definitely a sweet pull. Fat packs I've been opening lately have been short on myth Mythics, so maybe this one is making up for it. Let's see if we can get a third one. Door of Destinies. I think this is actually worth a couple bucks. It's a tribal card. Not too bad. Pyromancer's Gauntlet. And Guardian of the Ages. Seven, seven, seven Defender. Fiend Slayer Paladin. Let's see, it's a knight. So basically, hexproof from black and red. Not too bad, actually. First Strike Lifelink. Oh, he's on the cover of the pack. <laughs> And another Pyromancer's Gauntlet. So let's go highlight the rares and mythics. Yeah, this was a good fat pack. Archangel of Thune and Dark Rise of the Dark Realms. Two home run mythics. Why buy Double Masters or Jumpstart when you can get these from Core? So. I think Door of Destinies is probably the best rare, too, that we got. And I actually think I have a leftover code here for some more Theros packs as a thanks for watching this. So it's not like, I, like always, it's only one per account. So if you've already redeemed some Theros packs, it won't work.
All right. Thanks for watching and until next time.